Happy Easter and welcome to your resurrection meditation. As a beautiful divine feminine walking on the Magdalene path, you're connected to Mary Magdalene and the lineage of the rose and seeing that beautiful Christed light through your eyes. The divine feminine is the moon goddess spouse to the sun god and walking this path is knowing yourself as the lover and the beloved. So close your eyes. And there's several things in this meditation. You will go and remember the vision of the resurrection. And you will also be activating your pineal gland and the technology of all of this within your body. So relax and release and allow and receive. Notice your breath. Do three deep cleansing breaths in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. In and out. And bring your awareness to the crown chakra. And open up the crown and allow the light of the divine to flood upon you. Going into your brain, softening the left hemisphere of your brain, the right. Moving through your neural pathways, your synaptic connections. Relaxing and releasing and allowing you to go on this sacred journey today inside and out. And this energy of relaxation moves through your body, down your arms, your hands, your chest, your back, your hips, your legs. and everything surrenders just a little more. As you allow yourself to go into trance, just notice what leg goes into trance first, what leg softens and surrenders. And allow the other one to soften and surrender as well. And as you allow yourself to go into trance, just notice what arm relaxes and releases and allow the other one to relax and release as well. And as you go into trance, just allow your left brain to take a rest and your analytical brain to take a little nap and allow the imagination to come out and play and your deep cellular memory of this time and space to awaken within you. The time of the Magdalene and the Christ. Many of you remember a lifetime in the time of Jesus. And some of us are connected through cellular memory or the collective unconscious. But these stories hit a place in our very soul. As you allow yourself to relax and release, let us go on a journey. But first of all, if I were to say to you, see a red bird, just see a cardinal for me. Imagine a yellow sunflower against a night sky. Remember a dog. Imagine a cat stretching. And see a green tree with lots of leaves and the wind blowing through the leaves. This is the part of the mind that we're utilizing today. This is the part of the mind 
that holds the memories and the visions of your dreams. And this is the part of the mind that holds the imagination, which is your gateway to creation, your portal to the divine. So I want you to imagine yourself in the most beautiful place in the world. What you would imagine to be the most beautiful place in the world. It may be a meadow. It may be the seashore. It may be the mountain or a clearing in the forest. What you envision to be the most beautiful place in the world. And can you imagine a place like that? What does a place like this feel like? What does it smell like? Are there sounds around? Are there birds chirping? Or waves? Crashing on the shore? It feels so beautiful in a place like this. And you notice how your body relaxes and releases and so deeply held by earth. And I want you to imagine this beautiful egg of light suddenly surrounds you and encompasses your entire body this iridescent, beautiful cosmic egg of creation. And as you lay in your most magical world, you're encompassed in this beautiful egg of light that holds your body like magic. And Archangel Michael appears with his large wings and radiant heart. And he's always been the one that can help you travel through space and time and time and space. And we're going to go on a journey. And there's nothing you need to do but let go and allow and receive. But he lifts up your cosmic egg into the sky above the land and you can see your magical place from where you are and he lifts you higher and higher and it holds your body just like magic and it's so comfortable in a place like this and so magical and you move up over your state And you drift and you float and you float and you drift over the land and over the valleys and even over the ocean if you want to. And you drift and you float and you float and you drift and you go deeper and deeper into time and space. Into the stars, into the galaxy, through timelines, dimensions. Into the zero point field of creation where we can arrive anywhere we would like. And we're going on a journey on this auspicious day. And you're moving through time and space and space and time to another time, to another place. You're drifting and floating and floating and drifting through time and space and space and time to another time to another place and you remember yourself as you drift in your float as a Magdalene as a sacred feminine in the lineage of the rose experiencing the resurrection of the Christ in the time of Mary Magdalene and so you drift and you float and you float and you drift 
to that specific point in that beautiful part of the world on the holy land in the land of Gogata and you drift and you float and you float and you drift and you land on that desert floor and you drift and you float down, down, down Archangel Michael allows you to drift and float like a leaf gently floating out of a tree and you land on the desert floor and your cosmic egg dissolves and you look at your feet and you're wearing sandals and you've got a beautiful cloak over your body in the image of the Magdalene with a hood over your head and a song in your heart and you find yourself sitting on top of a sacred rock and you see the Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, standing at the door of the tomb. And she beckons you closer. And you walk next to her. And you both are in shock when you see that the stone has been removed from the entrance. So she runs to Simon Peter and the other disciple the one Jesus loved and said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. Then. The disciples went back to where they were staying. And you watched Mary standing outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But at the moment, she didn't recognize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, Tell me where you've put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene wept and said, I have seen the Lord. And she looks you in the eyes and you both knew that you had seen the Lord, the resurrection of the Christ of light, the Son God spouse. And she takes your hand and you both sit on the earth and you look at this sun, the Christed light emanating from the body. And you remember all this technology is inside of you and this remembrance of the sacred dance. 
and you know by the look how much Jesus loved her and she loved him. They were in union and the lovers upon lovers and she inspired in him his awakening and through him and through her and through him they were able to connect and know themselves as God and before anything else happens he stands in front of you and she stands behind and you're initiated as a Magdalene a sacred goddess of the rose an awakened one and they teach you that all of this is in your body you've got 33 vertebrae for 33 years you have 12 cranial nerves for 12 disciples you have the pineal of the father the pituitary of the mother you have all this technology inside and so they sit you down on your sacred rock and he puts his heart in front of your head and from his heart, this light emanates and goes straight into your crown and hits the light of your pineal and dances down your entire body to the throne of your pelvic floor. And you breathe in to that space and you allow that light to awaken breathing in and breathing out, awakening you to the Magdalene and the Christ, the Sophia, the Christos, the Logos, the Lord, the goddess, the God within. And as that energy awakens, the Sekum, the Shakti, the Kundalini, The cerebral spinal fluid begins to rise up your body, up your central column of light and the energies that criss and cross through all your energy centers, climbing up your 33 vertebrae, the Jacob's ladder, and activate all your chakras. The Ida, the Pingala, the lunar dragon and the solar cross in your medulla oblongata where it connects to your cerebellum and meet your 12 cranial nerves, your 12 disciples. This ignites your pineal gland, the piezoelectric signals of that small gland in the center of your brain, which is your resurrection. Go inside, find it. The Magdalene and the Christ are activating this for you. There's nothing you need to do. And know that the word Golgotha means skull. The place Jesus was crucified was in the place that means skull. Where those energies cross in the Mandula Abangata is your crucifixion the release of the ego and the surrender to the soul. And this is where the higher self and the human self become one and you experience enlightenment. When this happens, your pineal, the father, secretes a golden fluid and the pituitary, the mother, secretes a white milk-like substance. These secretions both come from the claustrum which is referred to barrier or cloister where holy things are held. Your brain, your body is the technology. This is the land of milk and honey. And you enter Samadhi, the resurrection within. This sweet elixir moves through your body and is unifying you with all that is. Take this initiation, this resurrection of the Christ and the love 
of the Magdalene. You become the zero point field between these two sacred incarnations. Feel it, heal it, believe it, and be it. And you remember these words. And Jacob called the name, the place Pineal, for I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Pineal, the sun rose upon him. And Pineal means the face of God. Genesis 32, 30. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light. Matthew 6.22 And your whole body is full of light in this magical story. You are the other Mary in this moment being activated, initiated, and you remember. You are the dream of the goddess, the god. The resurrection of your soul. And you surrender. And you remember. And as you witness these two beings initiating you, you remember the Ka body, the light body that Mary Magdalene helped Yeshua activate so he could ascend to the Father. It was through her and through him where the goddess and the God became one, the devotion and this devotion activates in your heart and you remember the story and your witness and the flower of your heart blooms the sacred rose opens to full open position and you hold the Sophia and the Christos the Logos and the Goddess inside your body and you feel the energy going up and down your spine. He says, and you remember, truly, truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will also do the works I am doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father, into the light of God, laying that path of resurrection and ascension to show you how it is done. 
trust, believe, and know that you and God are one. And your beautiful bubble of light begins to surround you, holding in all of this sacred energy, the light of the Christ, the love of the goddess, within your sacred sphere, your energy body. And Mary Magdalene and Yeshua and Archangel Michael lift up your cosmic egg and take it back into the sky, up into the stars of time and space and space and time as you drift and float and float and drift to another time and another place in our modern age where we are holding this energy and you drift back into your room or into your house or into your world and you float back into the physical body. But Yeshua's on your right. Mary Magdalene's on your left. Archangel Michael is behind you. And the Divine Mother is above you. And you know you are so deeply held and deeply loved as you resurrect this truth within your body. And you feel the energy going up your 33 vertebrae. And you feel the light of the divine flooding in you. And you experience your own resurrection into the truth of who you are and the faith of God and all that is. And you walk in that truth and you live in that love and the path that has been laid out so beautifully before you.